Hello, sir. Here, myself, Rehan from BTEC EPS third year. And in this video, I'm going to explain the topic for my video PPT that is insertion sort using 8085. And this video is made under the course PHN314 that is microprocessor and peripheral devices. Now, what is this sorting algorithm? So in this sorting algorithm, we virtually split a sorted and unsorted part of an array. Values from unsorted part are picked and placed at the correct position in the sorted part. Now, what's the algorithm or steps required for the insertion sort? So first array is iterated, iterated from array one to array of n. Here, uh, here the index starts from zero and we, st we start iteration from the first index. Now the current element or the key is compared to its all to its all predecessors. If the key element is smaller than it, any of its predecessors, then it is compared with the element before. The, the greater elements is move one position up to make space for the swapped elements. Now I will take one example uh, of an array with some random values and explain how uh, this swapping algorithm, how this sorting algorithm will be applied. Initially, first two elements are compared in, in, in this uh, algo. Uh, that is 12. So here, for example, 12 and 31 will be compared. Here, 31 is greater than 12. That means both elements are already in ascending order. So for now, 12 is sorted in sorted subarray, stored in sorted sub subarray. Now move uh, to next two elements and compare them. That is 31 and 25. Now 25 is smaller than 31. So, so 31 is not at correct position. Now we swap 31 and 20, 31 and 25. Uh, along with swapping uh, in in insertion sort, we also check that uh, the part of our array which was sorted earlier is now sorted or not? Is now arranged or not? Is there any disturbance which is created by this swapping or not? For now, the sorted array is has only one element that is 12. So we so 25 is greater than 12, and hence the sorted array remains sorted after swapping also. So now we our sorted array have contained two elements, 12 and 25. Now two elements in sorted array, uh, now we may move to the next two elements that is 31 and 8. Here we see that these are not sorted, so we swap them. Uh, so, so 12, 25, 8, 31. After swapping 12, we see that previous array which was sorted is now unsorted. That is 12, 25 and 8. Now we have to swap them. So 8 and 25. Here, here we see that the 12 and 8 are also now no unsorted. So we have to swap them again. So now the our sorted array contain 8, 12, and 25. And next pair is 31 and 32. Here we see that 32, these two are already sorted. Now the sorted array uh, contains the four element 8, 12, 25, and 31. Now the next two pair, no, next pair is 32 and 17. Here 17 is smaller than 32, so we have to swap them. That is 17 for uh, after swapping, we see that previous sorted array is again disturbed. That is 13, 31 and 17, so we swap them. Now again 25 and 17, we have to swap them. Now, uh, now as 8, 12, and 17 are already sorted, so we don't have to do anything here. Now the array is completely sorted. So, so this is the example to explain this sorting algorithm. Now I will give an overview of the code, like how this assembly code for 8085 is, for 8085 microprocessor is working. First, we have to, so in HL and D register pair, we store the starting address of the code. A starting address of the array, like from which uh, memory location we have entered our array elements. So the, this address is in hex form. Now, basically, there are two loops. One is the inner loop, which will swap uh, the elements if it is found to be greater, and there is outer loop, which will move from one element to another element. So loop uh, and loop one will iterate in the uh, are the uh, outer loop loop will increment the address of the element after every iteration and loop one will control number of times loop is iterated that is outer loop so c contains the number of elements that is how many times the loop will be iterated now loop three is the main part and the inner and the inner loop uh, which uh, performs the main function of the swapping and checking whether elements i plus one is greater than i or not and accordingly do the swapping so CMP is like the compare uh, here in the CMP instruction temp temporary register is used here whatever store is accumulator is uh, 
a minus uh, the memory contained and the value is stored in the temporary register accordingly accordingly flag flag value will changes and jnc will uh, jump uh, if no carry is there in to the loop 2 so loop 2 next uh, will just uh, use to connect this uh, inner and the outer loop so yeah now i will show the simulation part so this is the code in the gnu simulator now these are the value which i have already give at the memory location f00h now they are eight elements so that's why in mvic08 we have to store it now i will execute this code first uh, assemble this code now it's successfully assembled now execute this code now, as you can see after execution the array is sorted now I will discuss about a little bit about time and space, space complexity of this algo. So what are these complexities are basically these complexity complexity will tell us like how the time required for the code or the space required for the code will vary with the input side. So for the base case scenario in which the array is already sorted time complexity varies linearly with the input side. Like if we double the input, then the time will double. It will be in will be doubled. It's, this is so because in the case when the array is sorted, just we have to iterate once over the array. We don't have n square terms will not come if we do the time calculation. Now for the average case complexity and worst case complexity, the it's vary with n square. That is if we double the input size, then the time required will be increased by four times. It is uh, as the inner swapping will also be there, which increases the complexity. For the space complexity is O1. That is, uh, it's a constant so it, it does it doesn't depend on the input size as just one extra variable will be required for the swapping no extra we don't need any extra array to store those elements all those so as you can see this this algorithm is really like in terms of the time it takes expensive like o of n square but in terms of the speed it's really a good algo so so yeah that's that's all from my side thank you